Choir member Jan Chamberlain says she is out and she's now making headlines after formally quitting the group in protest of singing for Mr. Trump. Chamberlain writing a lengthy Facebook post that in part reads, quote, I've tried to tell myself that it will be all right and that I can continue in good conscience before God and man. I only know I could never throw roses to Hitler and I could certainly never sing for him. Jan Chamberlain joins me now. Welcome, Jan. Thank you. Thanks for being here. Jan, has any other member of the choir reached out to you in support? Yes, there have been a number who have. And regardless of what our view is on this, um, this is my personal view. I love my church leaders and I love my religion. And regardless of what our view is on, on doing the inauguration, I've had uh, friends that have just been very loving. And I'm grateful and, for that. Thank you. So there's, there's absolutely no way that you'll change your mind. You've absolutely quit the choir. I have, and I stand behind that decision. Thank you. Um, the Facebook post that you wrote, it was pretty harsh. You said the choir is endorsing tyranny and fascism by singing for, quote, this man. Do you, re do you, regret, do you regret using those words? Not one bit. And let me uh, qualify my position on that. I totally understand the position of the church and the choir. Um, they are goodwill ambassadors to send hope and love and support to others, regardless of, of political party, and I understand that. What I'm seeing is that this goes far beyond any past inaugural situation. I am seeing uh, very similar parallels of fascism, and others see this too. Uh, the thing that I see in fascism is that you have someone that finds a cause that gains people's trust and sympathy, and then they trust that person. They find a target to attack, and use propaganda to make that look legitimate. They find their military and their financial support, and then they're off and going. I'm seeing the criticism of Mexicans but and Muslims, the, the requirement of, of Muslims to have to ha sign on a registry, and that deeply concerns me. Well, well, there's, there's been no decision made on any kind of reg registry for m Muslims. I just want to clarify that. But, but Hitler, okay. I mean, Thank some you. people say that you, you've compared Mr. Trump to Hitler, and that just sounds kind of hysterical and over the top. Well, I don't feel hysterical. I feel quite calm. And as I observe from my personal opinion and have received um, thousands and thousands of posts and emails of support, the concern that people have is they love the choir and they feel that they are giving an endorsement uh, without meaning to, that they support very vile practices and positions that goes against their conscience.